New research shows that lowering inflammation in the brain increases empathy, compassion, and planning for the future. But if you have high levels of inflammation in your brain, that can lead to impulsiveness and being less considerate of others. Dr. David Perlmutter, brain expert and author of the revised bestseller, Grain Brain, broke the news to CBN's health reporter, Lori Johnson. In our discussions, nobody wants Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, those degenerative conditions. But mood is so highly influenced by these choices. And we now recognize, which is really exciting, didn't know this when the first edition was, was written, that the actual ability of us to connect to the, the, the part of the brain, the prefrontal cortex, that allows empathy and compassion and planning for the future, that connection is emphasized when we've reduced inflammation. Wow. In higher states of inflammation, we connect to a lower part of the brain called the amygdala that makes us much more impulsive, much less likely to consider the feelings of another person, wow. and much less likely to think about our actions in terms of the future. And CBN's health correspondent, Lori Johnson, joins us now with more. Lori, uh, this is relatively new. Is this just something that Perlmutter has discovered, or is, is there a growing body of work around this? There is a growing body of work around it. It's research, it's brand new, and it's really, I think, blows the lid off of so many things that we're dealing with right now. We talk about depression all the time and suicide and mood issues, and it turns out these things are very directly connected with inflammation, and inflammation is largely caused by eating the wrong kinds of foods. Oh, wow. okay. People say, well, what is an inflammatory food? Sugar is at the top of the list. Also, these refined carbohydrates like white flour, and we see these in everything, the bagels, the cereals, the pizza dough, on and on. But then here's something, Heather, that a lot of people don't realize is extremely flammatory, which are omega-6 fats. And before you turn to me out, and, oh, that sounds weird, omega-6 fats are uh, fats like vegetable oil, canola oil, peanut oil, all those oils that we use so often that are in the plastic bottles that line the grocery store shelves and that people at restaurants and fast food places, processed foods, they use those oils. Why are omega-6 is so bad? Because our body needs about the same amount of omega-3s and omega-6s, and most Americans eat 20 times more omega-6s than omega-3s, and that causes massive, massive inflammation. So we need to increase our omega-3s. That's fish oil. Everybody knows that. So we mm -hmm. should all be taking a fish oil supplement and lowering those other bad oils. So what oils do you use? Coconut oil. Believe it or not, butter's okay. Avocado oil as well. Mm. So is, is diet really what is controlling inflammation in the brain then, or are there other ways that you can help control that? That's right. Uh, diet is the number one issue, but also sleep. If we don't get enough sleep, it causes all kinds of crazy things to happen. We tend to eat the wrong things, but it causes a lot of stress, and that all leads to one awful thing, inflammation. So how do you get better sleep? A lot of people struggle with getting a good night's sleep, and one of the keys is to not have any caffeine after noon, but another huge one is not to look at any electronics two hours before bed. And if you feel like you have to, and if you're still struggling with sleep, use those amber glasses. They're on sale everywhere at, at Amazon, and they really work. They kind of filter out the blue light. Blue light from the computer is worse than the light that comes from your television. Yeah, it's interesting. We are just beginning to understand how phones and technology really affect our health. I want to ask you, too, about fasting, because I know we hear a lot about that right now, and, and how does that affect the brain. Excellent. Super great. But a lot of people are like, oh, no, fasting is so hard. I can't go without food. Really, the, um, everyone can do this thing called intermittent fasting, which is uh, the minimum of 12 hours of fasting per day. That's easy. That means, like, let's say you stop eating dinner at 7 p.m. and you don't eat again until the next morning at 7 a.m. I mean, basically, you're cutting out late night snacks. If you want to really boost it even more, you can push that breakfast a little bit later or push that dinner up a little early, maybe eat dinner dinner at 5 and don't eat breakfast the next day until 10 or 11. And the longer you go without food, believe it or not, that really strengthens your brain. It seems mm. counterintuitive, but that's the way it is. Mm. All right. Okay. So it's all about food and diet and consider intermittent fasting. Lori Johnson, thanks for your time. My pleasure.
All right, you can also watch Lori's entire interview with Dr. David Perlmutter on Healthy Living, which airs on the CBN News Channel tonight at 9.30 Eastern Time. And after the break, what companies are accused of committing or at least tolerating sexual exploitation on this year's Dirty Dozen list? Parents, the Superbook Bible app is a great way to get your child reading the Bible because in today's busy world, we can use some help. The free Superbook Bible app has fun stuff your kids will love. They'll have a blast learning the Bible, playing great games, watching cool videos, discovering heroes in the Bible. They'll have fun while they learn God's Word. The Superbook Kids Bible app, available now. Life, it's meant to be lived fully. Jesus said it, I came to give you life, life to the fullest, life in your family, life in your finances, life in your body, mind, and spirit, life in your every day. At CBN.com, we're taking what Jesus said seriously. We're here to help you discover life. Life. Live it fully. CBN.com. Discover the I wills of God. I will rescue him, protect him, answer him, be with him in trouble, deliver him, honor him, satisfy him with long life, show him my salvation. What I felt was loved and treasured. God spared my life twice in three days. The good Lord had given me a second chance. Call 1-800-700-7000 or visit CBN.com. The I wills of God, the latest teaching from Pat Robertson. You might be surprised at some of the famous names accused of committing or at least tolerating sexual exploitation. As Paul Strand reports, the National Center on Sexual Exploitation has just released a fresh list. As in years past, the National Center on Sexual Exploitation has just put out what it calls the Dirty Dozen List. This is the seventh year where we've named 12 large entities who are really responsible, we would argue, for the mainstreaming and the normalization of sexual exploitation in our culture. Among them, big names like Amazon, Google, and United Airlines. We hear repeatedly from individuals who fly on airplanes and even from flight attendants that they've been victims of sexual assault and harassment during flight. And uh, it is our um, belief that United has doing the least to train their flight attendants on how to deal with this. Responding to this story, a United Airlines spokesperson quoted United's own CEO saying, sexual harassment, inappropriate behavior, intimidation, or predation have absolutely no place anywhere in our society, especially on our aircraft. And the spokesperson added, United has strengthened training for flight attendants to recognize and respond to sexual harassment. The list includes well-known media players like HBO, Netflix, Roku, Steam, and Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Issue. And this year, even the state of Nevada with its legalized prostitution. 30% of women in the brothels, in the legal brothels, uh, were perhaps victims of sex trafficking. Retina says she was traumatized by a sexual assault at Massage Envy, another of this year's Dirty Dozen. And it just blew up in my face like an atomic bomb. I was dazed, I was confused, I cried a lot. There are almost 400 reported cases of sexual assault at the hands of massage envy therapists. Retina says the company did the least possible to answer for the assault. Okay, you can have a free membership. I'm like, okay, seriously? A number of victims have reported their assault to managers and to Massage Envy Corporate, and nothing has been done. And these therapists have gone on to assault others. A Massage Envy spokesperson told CBN News it urges anyone experiencing anything other than a safe massage to report it to the franchise location. And they said franchisees are required to supply any guest claiming to be a victim of sexual misconduct contact info for local law enforcement and the state board. People can fight back against sexual exploitation by checking out DirtyDozenList.com. They can go to our website and send an email directly to the CEO.
The list isn't just about naming and shaming, but also changing those who are on the list. And you can have a part by putting pressure on them. Paul Strand, CBN News, Washington. Up next, where and how you can watch vintage evangelical broadcasts featuring the one and only Billy Graham. When you give, smiles grow bigger. When you care, homes are happier. When you comfort, The hurt goes away. When we all come together to love, miracles happen. Hello, I'm Terry Newsom. Did you know there are more than 148 million orphans in the world today? 148 million. But it was three little girls that taught me about the plight of orphans. My husband and I spent nearly a month immersed in the daily activities of a Ukrainian orphanage as we waited to adopt three sisters. I saw firsthand the utter loneliness, the pain of rejection, and the overwhelming desire to be loved. That experience changed me forever. And out of it grew a ministry from my heart called Orphan's Promise. Today, we're helping orphans and vulnerable children in more than 50 countries worldwide. Thousands of children are now in safe homes. They're being educated and they're learning life skills. I'm asking you to join with me and become family to these children. Will you call the number on your screen right now? Because every child deserves a chance to be happy. Hello? Is this thing on? Hey, kids. Do you love games? And do you love discovering things? Yeah. Well, do you? Yeah. Then you're going to love this. It's the new free Superbook Kids Bible app. You can play games, watch videos, find answers to your questions, and a whole lot more. The new Superbook Kids Bible app. Free downloads available on iTunes and Google Play now. Come home to the Southern Gospel Station from CBN Radio. You'll enjoy a rich Southern blend of bluegrass, classic gospel, and Southern Gospel favorites. CBN Southern Gospel, available now at CBNRadio.com. Amazon Prime Video has just made available over a dozen movies produced by the Billy Graham Evangelistic Association. The 17 films include timeless movies and feature films from the late evangelist, including The Hiding Place, The Restless Ones, and The Last Flight Out. Worldwide Pictures produced the evangelistic films, many of which featured Billy Graham himself, as a way of reaching people who wouldn't regularly find themselves in church. And before we go, a programming note for you. Be sure to check out our CBN News Daily Rundown podcast. Go to CBNNews.com and click on the show tab to find the Daily Rundown page. You can subscribe there and get a look behind the scenes as we cover news around the world and here in the U.S. And you can find more of our exclusive coverage of the issues that you care about most at CBNNews.com. Please tell us what you think about the stories you've seen here. And you can do that by emailing newswatch at CBN.com or talk to us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We hope that you'll join us next time. Have a great day.